Oh, hey there. Um, did you have a question about Plymouth, Michigan? Oh, no. Forget about it. The city is an absolute dump. You want nothing to do with it. Just close this video right now. Nah, I'm just kidding. I made a whole entire video about it, including what I love and hate about Plymouth, Michigan. So grab some popcorn, kick your feet up, make sure you save this video for later, and let's get into it. Hey, if you're new to my channel and new to me, my name is Eric Meldrum. I make videos about all things Michigan, including what it's like to live here, work here, play here, and yes, the sunshine and the snow, we have both. I'm also a licensed real estate professional. I've helped hundreds of people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest here in Michigan, and I wanna help you do just that. So make sure you subscribe and tap that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market here and every time I put on a new video just like this. Okay, so let's talk about Plymouth, Michigan. This is one of the questions that I'm sure you have if you're moving to a new state and you're looking at Metro Detroit, you've now discovered that Metro Detroit is huge and it's all about location. Where do we wanna be? What do we wanna be close to? What are the amenities? Are we gonna be working in Detroit? Are we working in you know, kind of the, the Metro Detroit area surrounding it? Um, where are we and what is going to be our lifestyle? So Plymouth is one of those cities that is really centrally located. We're gonna talk about the cost of living the real estate, of course, I can't do anything without talking about real estate here in these videos. And we're gonna look at the location, the schools, um, and pretty much everything you need to know to make good decisions and better decisions when moving here. You know, So if you guys do have questions, drop those in the comments below. I answer all those personally, or better yet, reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom call with us, and we'd love to take you around the city through our eyes and match you up with the ideal lifestyle. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first up, let's talk about the cost of living. Now, Plymouth, Michigan is not dissimilar from a lot of the other cities. It's not gonna be more expensive or less expensive on a grandiose scale. But when you're looking at the cost of real estate and taxes in a lot of these cities, that's gonna be your biggest major difference. So cost of living in Plymouth is a little bit higher than what we see in Michigan as a whole. And to be precise, it's about 18% higher than most cities in Michigan, which isn't too bad if you look at that national level, it's not too far off. So if you're moving from somewhere like Los Angeles to Plymouth, Michigan, you're in for some big savings. I ran an example here I'm gonna share with you, but you know, if you're tired of stuff out in California, which we get a lot of clients that are moving here from California for the politics, the real estate costs out there, I totally get it, right? There is a lot of things going on in California that I personally don't agree with. You know, That's not what this video is about, but if you are moving from California, then come on over. Real estate is not as expensive in Michigan as it is in California. So here's the savings that you're gonna be looking at if you are moving from Los Angeles to Plymouth. You're gonna be saving on average about 49%, okay? 49% and that's really all wrapped up into the real estate cost. You know, there's some in the gas and some in the food and healthcare, a little bit here, a little bit there, but a good majority of it is gonna be rolled into the real estate. So that means if you are currently making about $223,000 in California, then you can really take a pay cut and move over to Michigan making about 150,000 or you're gonna make the same and maybe you don't have to go into the office, you're a remote worker and you can pocket the rest of that. That's a good chunk of change to put in your pocket. All right, so next up, let's talk about the schools. Now, one of the most important things I'm sure you as a parent are thinking about when moving your family all the way across the country or to a new state is what is the school system like where I'm moving to? Is it good? Is it bad? Um, are we gonna have to drive our kids a half hour to school? Are these things like not even talked about and we're just gonna go in blind? No, if you're like me, you know education is super important for your kids and we wanna make sure they have the best opportunities in life. And that starts with the education. So we take that very seriously, and as I'm sure you do. So the good news is the public schools in Plymouth are top notch. So they've been ranked very highly on a lot of the publications. I got a great one down below, um, greatschools.org. It's a great resource. If you're looking in Plymouth or any other area, go check it out um, because it gives you honest feedback from parents who send their kids there. And you can see some comments, you can see some reviews, and it shows a little bit more in depth about what the curriculums are and what their school system is all about. So go check that out. And then, hey, if you're not on the bandwagon of public school, no judgment here. Um, there are charter schools, there are Catholic schools, there are Christian schools. Um, you can go check those out as well. And if you're doing homeschooling, God bless you for that. Uh, you have the patience of a saint with the kids teaching them and then doing all the other things that you need to do. Um, so God bless you for that. But 
there are a lot of homeschooling groups in the area. So if you're looking for you know some parents and some groups to get plugged into, they definitely do exist here in the Plymouth area. So next up, let's talk about the downtown area. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with downtown Plymouth, or as locals like to call it, DTP. So if you wanna fit in with the locals, pick up a little bit of local slang here, go downtown, drop the DTP, you'll fit right in. So the reason I have a love-hate relationship with downtown Plymouth is because the city is so cool, so vibrant, that everybody wants to come there. And that's the same reason I absolutely hate it, is because when you're going out to eat, there's so many people. You're gonna wait at restaurants, you're gonna wait to find a parking spot, and it just makes going out to eat a little bit less enjoyable when you're having to wait and do all these little things. Like, I like to go, we got kids. We got two little girls, little feral savages that are five and seven, that when you say it's time to eat, guess what? They think the food's gonna be on the table within like two seconds. So if we don't get there early enough, or we have to wait, all we're gonna hear is, Where's my food? Where's my food? Where's my food? Parents, you know what I'm talking about. So for that reason, we try to avoid for family night, if we're going out to eat, downtown Plymouth is not the place we're gonna go. But if you get there early enough, you can definitely snag a table and that's us. Like we'll be eating the early bird special, 4.30, five o'clock. You better believe it. Like we will get there early and enjoy. So if you're looking for things to do downtown, there's always events going on. They got live music in the park, right in Kellogg Park, which is pretty cool. You guys can go check that out on the weekend. And every summer they have the art fair, which is I believe the second largest art fair in the state of Michigan next to Ann Arbor's art fair, which is cool. You can go roam around, look at all the local artists and just enjoy the art, buy some art and take it home and enjoy. And then in the winter time, they have what's called the Ice Fest. And the Ice Fest is actually really cool. There's ice sculptures all over downtown Plymouth from artists. And I don't know how they do it, but they're the, some of the coolest sculptures that I've seen. So I'll put the link down below. You can check it out and get the upcoming dates for that one. I wanted to throw you guys some recommendations for some restaurants down there too. So if you are visiting or gonna be coming into town, definitely check out Barrio. You know, it's a great little spot. Atmosphere is great. And they have some of the best tacos around. So check out Barrio. Another one is EG Nick's. You know, this is just a really good comfort place, like going in with the family, sitting down, local establishment. This place has been around for a long time. So great food, great establishment, great service. Um, so EG Nick's. And if you're looking for something a little bit more laid back, I would definitely recommend going to check out the post. You can go inside or outside seating, depending on the time of year. Um, in the summertime, they do have live music as well. So, you know, you can grab some dinner, grab some drinks and go listen to live music out back and just enjoy one of the summer nights here in Michigan. All right, and you guys know I can't make a video without talking about real estate. One of my favorite topics. If you wanna know where I geek out, it's in real estate, the numbers, the, the whole the whole entire thing. I love it. I love everything about it. So if you got questions, just ask, drop those down below. Make sure you save this video for later too because we're gonna talk about some stats in real estate that I think are really important. If you're moving from out of state, moving to the area, and you're considering moving to Plymouth, this is super important. So I'm gonna start with the temperature of the real estate market here in Plymouth, um, which is very competitive. And when I say very, I'm not just exaggerating, you know, to say, hey, go make a decision quickly on the homes. No, I'm talking like these, these stats are gonna speak for themselves and you're gonna see why that is the case. So when budgeting for a home, you're asking yourself, what is the average home cost? Are we gonna be above it or below it? Kind of where are we at in Plymouth? So the average home cost in Plymouth for a single family home is $520,000. Now, the interesting part about that, you might be thinking that seems a little bit high for the area. Well, that is up 13% from last year. So last year was not $520,000. It's gone up quite significantly you know, since then, and I believe it's gonna to continue to go up as well. I told you this is a competitive market and that price increase really reflects it. Now, a couple other stats that I wanna share with you that really shows how competitive this market is, is the sold to list price ratio is 103.5%. So almost 104% over. So that means when offers are coming in, people are on average paying 4% above list price to get that home. And if you're curious how many homes actually go multiple offers over asking, well, the number is 69% of all listings in Plymouth do get over asking price offers. 
So I told you it was a competitive market here in Plymouth, but I don't want you to worry about that because my team and I are excellent at what we do and we got your back when making that move. So we know the listing agents, we know the market, we know what it takes to get your offers accepted and we'll help you through it. So make sure you reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or schedule that Zoom call. We'd be happy to help you make that move here to Michigan. One of the other really cool things about the real estate here in Plymouth is the architecture. Now, there's a wide variety of home styles and that spans anywhere from Victorian style homes to Cape Cods, to bungalows, to just colonials and everything in between. I mean, you can find it whether you're looking for a brick ranch or maybe a three-story Victorian style home in the heart of downtown Plymouth that does exist and some of the builders around here are actually doing really cool work where they're knocking down some of the smaller bungalow style homes and building these massive homes that really fit in with some of that early victorian style and they got the long porches the swing on the porch i mean it's really cool all right so i got a question for you guys and i want to hear from you what is your favorite style home like if you could have any home you ever dreamt of what would it be and where would it be drop those in the comments below so next up, let's talk about the location of Plymouth. Now, this is one of the reasons why I believe so many people move to Plymouth and it's such a central part of the Metro Detroit because it's smack dab in the middle. It's just south of, of Northville, just north of Canton. Right here is Plymouth. So got a couple directions for you. I wanna give you proximity of, of where Plymouth is to Detroit and some of the other major cities you know, around here. So it's gonna be about a 32 minute drive to from Plymouth to Detroit. Um, then if you're heading over to Ann Arbor, Michigan, um, you're from Plymouth, you got about a 26 minute drive, hop on the 14 here, head over to uh, Ann Arbor. And then if you're gonna be looking to travel from Lansing to Plymouth, uh, Lansing's gonna be a little bit longer, so it's about an hour and a half. Most people who are gonna be working in uh, the Lansing area usually kind of land in like Howell, Brighton, Fowlerville, um, if they're not in Lansing, because there's a big GM plant just on the outskirts. So a lot of people who don't want to be in Lansing, but want to be closer to Metro Detroit, tend to fall into Howell and uh, Brighton area. But that is Lansing. And then if you're going to be heading to um, DTW, which is the airport, you know, here for, uh, for Detroit, um, it's about a 22 minute drive. So this is one of the big benefits of being in Plymouth is your 22 minutes from uh, the airport. So we have a lot of people in automotive land here, you know, the big three are here. So people are flying in and out for a lot of business, you know, in the tier one, tier two, tier three automotive and the big guys there. Um, so you can get in and out pretty quickly. All right, so now that we got a little bit of proximity of where we're at with in Plymouth, um, let's take a closer look at what's around. So if you're looking for shopping, um, you do have shopping centers in Plymouth. You got Meyer right off of, uh, uh, this is Ford Road. So you got Meyer down here. We got Ikea for you Ikea lovers. Um, Ikea's in the house. This is actually in Canton. So Plymouth border stop somewhere around here, but there's Meyer's here. Um, there's grocery stores downtown Plymouth as well. If you're looking for the Target, the Costco, the Trader Joe's, it's just going to be up your road in Northville. So you got Trader Joe's, Costco over here. All right, so let's get a little bit closer look at the downtown area. So all the stuff in yellow here is going to be the downtown area. Um, like I said, you do have grocery stores down there. So you got your Westbourne Market. Um, you got Plymouth Coffee Bean. You know, you got the um, restaurants, Bigalora Wood Fire Grill there. Awesome place. Um, and then you got the Detroit Barbershop here. And then here's Barrio, which we talked about earlier. E.G. Nick's. Um, the Starbucks is down there. You got your big Laura. We talked about that. Nico and Valley is actually a really cool Italian restaurant as well. Um, we ate there with a couple of friends a couple of years ago. It was absolutely phenomenal. Definitely recommend that place, but you can see how big the downtown area is. It's not just one street. So it goes over, you know, off of forest Avenue on main street, you come across, um, you know, up until like Ebenezer, the gastro pub, all great places there. Um, but you got Penniman Avenue right here. And then if you're looking for another ice cream place, guys, I told you, I'll tell you all the ice cream places that you need to go. Um, definitely head over to the Dairy King. Longstanding ice cream place there. It's been there forever. We actually talked to the owner one, one day because we were my family and I were considering buying an ice cream store in Brighton and he talked us out of it. So thank you to the owner of Dairy King. Um, he forever has my business because he's probably saved me a lot of heartache on the ice cream world. But as you can see, you got everything you need downtown, even your library. And this is Kellogg Park where they would have a lot of live music in the park. 
So just a good close look at the downtown Plymouth area. All right, so hopefully that video gave you guys some perspective on what Plymouth is all about. You know, the restaurants, the downtown area, the real estate, the schools, the cost of living, and certainly proximity to things here in the area. So if you guys do have questions, drop those in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I answer all those personally. And hey, if you are moving here to Michigan or considering Plymouth, definitely reach out. We got your back when making that move here. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or better yet, schedule that Zoom call. The link is in the description and we can hop on Zoom, take you through the city in our eyes, answer any questions, and get a game plan together to make that next step. So until next time, go enjoy those other videos on the channel. They're all right here and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.